Good Friday evening, everybody. Friday the 13th. And it's actually supposed to be a full moon. Where? It kind of sucks out here tonight. Um, it's raining off and on. It's kind of windy. So I apologize for the wind noise in advance. I'm working on the woodshed. Hopefully this thing is going to be covered in steel this weekend. That's my plan anyway. Right now, I'm working on building some trusses. And I'm going to take you through my process here. Agree, disagree, whatever. It doesn't matter. Two by sixes. And what I'm using is I'm using the uprights and the purlings. You can see you got the purlings 24 inches apart. This is kind of my simple way to lay this out. So, I, obviously, we have our gable right here. And we have our cross piece right there. I'm using the center of the post to mark this. A couple of screws just to hold things together. Mark the bottom where they intersect to create my angle. Once you cut right down the middle of that, put a tie plate on there. Away you go. If we go around and look at the inside here, oh, you can see in there I drew a pencil line. So that way I can cut this bottom piece at the appropriate angle. Mark the ends, two and two. One and one down there. I can lay this all out, put tie plates on them, and then create a center brace and I have myself a simple truss. Now, do I know the pitch? No. Do I care? No. What I do know is from this end of the truss to the top of the truss is gonna be eight feet. I have eight foot steel. Sounds to me like that works out just about right. Eh? So do I need to put fascia on this? Probably not. I don't need to put fascia. I might, but we'll see. Daylight is fading fast. I spent the rest of my daylight getting the rest of this framing put up. The top purling. You can see this one in here is a little bit close, but I didn't didn't feel comfortable going with that bigger gap. I spaced these out this way because we're gonna use the old oak lumber that was lining the inside of the horse stalls in what is now the shop down here. We're gonna use that old oak lumber to line the inside of the walls. That way we don't have firewood banging on the steel sheeting for the walls. So before it gets too dark here, I'm gonna take and unscrew this these pieces for the truss Haul them down to the shop along with a few more boards. And we can go build the trusses in there after dark. Tomorrow morning is going to be a early morning. Crack of dawn. Ken from Vintage Pub and Kettle River Pizza is coming to give me a hand. So, again, if you guys are in the area of Ascove or any of the stores in Minnesota, Wisconsin... That carry a Kettle River pizza? Do yourself a favor and try them out. I don't care who you are, that's good stuff. Alright, so as you can see, we are building trusses. So I got one more of these to frame up tonight, and then tomorrow morning we're going to get after it. Bright and early before my help shows up to put steel on there. Try to get these end trusses up and throw purlings on the roof. And go to town. One more trust, guys, and I'm calling it a night. Hope everyone's having a great night. Hopefully you got plans for the weekend. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see you again next time.